five things I remembered about voice acting. Take one. I can't even tell how I look on that screen. Maybe. Maybe. Laptop. Laptop. Intro. Here we go. Hello everyone, I'm Megan McDermott, I act over at Maristica Studios, and we're going to be going over the six things I have learned about voice acting. Here we go. Tip number one. The mic is evil. Don't trust it. It likes to take your performance, wring it of whatever energy you thought you put into it, and run away laughing. And especially if you're working with more low-end equipment, microphones have a tendency to get really cranky. Technique is very important. If you're not careful, it is pop city. You say, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, and it comes out, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I think you'd get less popping if you dumped like a ton of corn kernels into an active volcano. That joke works, right? Which leads up to my next point. Play up everything. Whatever energy you think you need, you are wrong. Play it up. When I was new, I did not understand how the microphone is against you. You may think you're coming across as the party cannon, Pinkie Pie, and in reality, you're more like, you know, sadness from inside out. Bye, friendship. Hello, loneliness. And you now you've disappointed your family, your friends, your country. Everyone's crying in their soup, and it's all your fault because you're black and white TV. Is important and I am not just talking about acting technique here I'm talking about technical technique again the mic is cranky and the way to get the best results oftentimes is do all your acting with your head moving as little as possible so when you get into your imagination world and you want to be moving all around and gesturing just don't move your head that might sound difficult but it can be done hair check I do that it's a joke. I do that. Stretch your vocal capability as much as possible. The more voices you can do, the more characters you can play. So in the same production, you can be a high voice Foley character. Or perhaps Southern. I'm an evil scientist. Thank you for joining our tour. Okay, Bubana. Or perhaps a fun English person. You know what? I think the necklace is constricting my throat. <laughs> Best way to improve? Listen to yourself and your performance. One of the things that really helped me improve my voice acting was by listening to it and adjusting and learning from it. Next tip. Strong imagination is useful. Make use of it. Your character might be on Mount Everest. You might be in a studio the size of a room closet. Your character might be surrounded by a supporting cast. You are very likely by yourself. Picture it in your mind. Picture the place, picture the people, so in the end, ultimately be not acting, but reacting. I think that's a good lie. Don't act. React. Coolness. This can look a little strange to the outside observer, but it can work. Are my shoes in there? And that's it. I hope some of this was helpful to you. Um was helpful to me as I grew as a voice actress. I don't know how much of this stuff is considered textbook. This is all from my own experience. So, what I'm saying, proceed at your own risk. This may not be textbook. For those of you watching this on Marissa Studios, Media Realming is a new channel. Heather, Kali, Keenan, Josiah, and Megan which explores the worlds of stories and story creation both as creators and audiences. From fun reviews to lessons learned behind the scenes... Oh, no! Whoa! Did you catch that? Yeah. Okay. I'm about to look like an idiot! It's fun, check it out. Link's in the description. And if any of those people look familiar to you... It's just you. And if you're watching this video on Media Realming already, check out Maristica Studios. We have done skits, audio drama, short videos, and we'd like to work all the way up to feature films. Check us out, links in the description, like, comment, subscribe, both channels, either channel, no, right, both channels. Nice recovery. What are your voice acting experiences? What's been helpful to you? We'd love to hear about it in the comments. All right, I think that's it. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.